Well, from a humanitarian crisis to a monumental tragedy, Texas Governor Rick Perry says that is what's in store if the federal government fails to act in the ongoing immigration crisis. Perry blaming the president's policies for opening our country to tens of thousands of illegal immigrants, many of them children. Here's the governor. We have been fulfilling a federal responsibility, and the hardworking people of the state of Texas shouldn't have to shoulder that cost by themselves. Uh, and finally, my message to President Obama is to secure this border, Mr. President. Joining us now, David Webb and Leslie Marshall, both our radio talk show hosts and Fox News contributors. Leslie, you know, the governor is really, you know, he's sounding the horn and saying we can't do this alone. We need financial help. We, they need security help along the border. Does he have a point? I, I don't think he has a point with blaming the president. I mean, it, it, does he want another executive order? The GOP doesn't like that, obviously. What they need is reformation. Uh, this is something that former President George W. Bush said we need immigration reform, a comprehensive immigration reform package. And by the way, I don't hear any solutions. Just throwing it to the president from Governor Perry wow. with regard to those children, with, with regard to the thousands that are there in detention centers in Texas and other states like where I am usually in California, I don't hear any solutions by him or Republicans except using this as we have seen the Virginia race as a political well, but issue. But David, at the same time, I mean, this happens so fast. I mean, right. these, these kids these babies in some in some instances just started flooding across the border no one was prepared for this and frankly I mean the law is not on the side of, of Governor Perry right now first of all Leslie by the way is factually incorrect there have been a number of bills passed in the house that Harry Reid refuses to bring up on the floor the president is using this crisis because he wants his gang of eight bill to be pushed through which is a path to am which is amnesty with a path to uh, to uh, citizenship the law has never been followed for decades by Republicans or Democrats for a variety of reasons. They refuse to have true border security. Now we have a crisis and a 2,700 mile trip from Guatemala to the Texas border in one case, which is exacerbated by the president's own enactment of the Dream Act through an executive order and of the failure of ICE and to do their job. Remember Janet Napolitano, who said the border was secure? She was lying to the American people. They've exacerbated us. They're working with La Raza, they're working with left groups and opportunists like cartels, human traffickers, uh, you name it, drug traffickers, they're taking advantage of this. Women are renting children because no one gets them across the border. This well, is this is a failure to do our job to enforce and, the current the law. the stories that are coming out of us, in particular the Texas border, are, are frightening and heart-wrenching. I do, Leslie, I want you to listen, though. This is something else uh, that Governor Perry said about what he's saying. Take a listen to this, and I want you to respond on the other side. Whether it's um, whether it's the right decision from my perspective uh, to immediately deport them or the short-sighted and tragic decision to essentially turn them loose in the United States. Um, some may think by you know, allowing them to stay here that um, it's more humane option and I assure you it's not. You know, Leslie, what governor, he, what he's saying there, I mean, he's a first time grandfather. No one wants to see these children hurt or taken advantage of. And I think that's his fear if they if they stay in, in this country. It's also a huge fear if they're placed back in what they're fleeing from. It's it's not just, uh, you know, parents saying, go there so you can help us to get in. Uh, there are children, and I can tell you firsthand when I was trying to adopt internationally in some of these countries like Honduras and Guatemala uh, that are thrown out because their families can't afford them. They're abused greatly by adults within their own society. Some of them in Mexico have been running from drug cartel who are using them to run drugs and to uh, run packages. They're running for their lives. They're running from sexual abuse. Uh, physical abuse, emotional abuse. To David's point, I want to agree with him regarding uh, one issue, and, and, and we do agree sometimes, and this is one. The laws on the books have not changed. They have not been enforced. We have to remember, in addition to these children, with the 11 million plus illegal immigrants we have in this country, undocumented workers, some of these people have been here longer than my relatives. Look, look, that, uh, my I, relatives I, I, have I been here, but I disagree, David. That's a fair point. I disagree, with you, point. You, I disagree with you regarding, I understand what you're saying regarding oh, what Senator Reid has or hasn't done, but let's look well, at what the Tea Party has said fact, regarding the race of all, Virginia. 
Virginia that it was a referendum on what? Immigration reform. First, first immigration of all, reform the, is the Tea gone. Party the doesn't write legislation. Let's, 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 let's stay on Texas, though. Let's stay, let's stay on Texas in this issue. The situation in Guatemala, El Salvador, and these countries has not changed. The crime didn't change. It's been going on this way for decades. That is a fact. What has changed is the, what we do in this country to create a larger magnet, which President Obama favors. 75 percent. How is he the deporter in chief? Let me finish. How is he the deporter he is not, He's actually not by the numbers. 75 percent of these children will stay statistically, whether they ignore the court order or by refugee status in the United States. We just, he pres the president two weeks ago promised $254.6 million to South America to help their repatriation efforts. Why are we doing that when we're so not you're repatriating? Saying pull back, you're, so you're saying pull back the funding. And we should also Border point security, out $2 billion dollars has just been requested. $2 billion. And $800 million in three years has gone to Mexico. All for repatriation. This president has created this magnet. He's working with the groups no. to do this. Okay. And he is, by the way, the real humanitarian crisis for the left who cares about children, care about these children who are being abused David. and make sure that that's got, resolved. Leslie, I got 10 seconds. Final word for you. David, caring about children is not left or right. And we beef up the border. What is happening to those children on that side? As a that I don't care what party I am. I'm looking at these children yeah, from a maternal and, and perspective. And they're not going to get care here with mental problems and being raped get care as they with in situation, and that's why you're We're, both here yeah, to talk happy, about it. Happy Fourth of July to happy both of you. I'm glad you agreed on a couple of happy things. Happy birthday, America! Uh, no How's kidding. that? Yes, Leslie. Happy